Hi, this video is about Dropbox Selective Sync. I'm Karen Lukeman, timefortech.net at gmail.com. If you've installed Dropbox onto your computer, you will see in the bottom right hand corner a little icon that looks like this. And what Dropbox does is they actually put a folder right on your C drive for you to sync folders between your computer and the cloud so you can have those on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android devices. That's great. However, all of these folders are also on your hard drive taking up space that you may or may not need because you've already got them in your network drive. So I use it more as a place to move things uh, that I absolutely need on my iPad. So it may not be everything. So one of the things you can do to be selective is go to your settings and go to your preferences and selective sync. And I may not want all my photos, mostly I just keep photos out there uh, that I need for presentations. If I'm working uh, quickly, I need to be able to get it on my hard drive. Um, and I might just want some documents, but maybe I don't really want those documents on my hard drive. So I can get rid of those if I want, and I've said I didn't want school. So I can just say update. It says OK. Now I'm not removing these from the cloud. I am just saying I don't want a copy of those things on my computer. So now in Dropbox, it's going to sync school, photos, any other folders, anything I sunk and said I didn't want. You'll notice that it's moving. And those folders have literally disappeared from my computer. However, they are still on my Dropbox folder. There's my photos, there's my documents, and all my documents are still inside. So everything is still available to me. I also freed up a little space on my hard drive, and that's how you do selective sync.